Hello, welcome to the channel. It's the girl with blue eyeshadow, also known as Liz. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> For today's video, I am going to pick like my top 10 products at the moment. Um, so if that sounds interesting, you should keep on watching. Okay, so where I got this idea from was, I believe Julia Adams um, made a, has a video like this. And it's kind of like the top 10 products that you can't live without at the moment. And I was like, huh, let me try that out. A little housekeeping right now. I'm tr filming in a different setup. I have like a desk now and filming on my phone again because I think the quality is better. But what happens is that it doesn't have enough storage so then it cuts out. So if that happens, sorry if it's really choppy, sorry if the quality is all over the place, but that is it. But moving on, I'm going to tell you the product. <laughs> so these are kind of like, if I could only pick 10 products, what would I be like? Would I be happy with just 10 products and no but what I could like I could live with these and these are the stuff that I'm just like really liking right now and yeah that's it <laughs> I don't know this idea just sounded fun to me so the first thing I'm gonna go in order how I guess I traditionally put on my makeup but usually I actually just start with eyes but we're gonna start with a base and my base is going to be the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body this is a kind of recent find I think I found it last month and I've been loving it it is so nice. I love how it looks on my skin. I love how it doesn't settle into this area. Um, I don't have it on today. I'm testing a bunch of foundations right now. Um, but this one is like the one I have to like keep myself from not grabbing or mixing in with something because I just, I love it so much. It's um, a light coverage. It's kind of a thin, kind of drippy consistency. I quite like that consistency more than like a thicker, thin one, if that makes sense. Um, I have the shade C two and I really like this product um would recommend I get I get mac okay I, I was not a mac believer I have no mac products except for this and now I understand why people like them so much um oh I will also say that I have oily to normal skin um I usually want a dewy or natural um finish and I feel like this gives me that I like a light coverage I don't care if like too many of my scars, my acne scars are coming up. Um, but yeah, um, I just think this is just wonderful. I like to blend it out with a um, a brush first and then go maybe tap in with a sponge. Um, this is like the only foundation I found that I prefer uh, a brush with. Usually I'm a sponge girl, but it, it looks great. Uh, I'm looking at my little list right now and it looks like I've used this 510 12 times this month and that's not even counting I'm pretty sure I used it tw like the same amount last month so yes I, I really like this <laughs> um my other product that I could not I would I would want to take with me is a concealer and I went with the Kosas concealer I think this is the revealer concealer yes I have the shade 03w I could probably get 02 but I already had 01 and usually I just kind of mix these two. But I think I could be fine with just 03. Um, I just really love this concealer. It's kind of dewy. It's a probably medium coverage. So you're getting a good coverage. Um, compared to like the other one I have right now is the Tarte one. The Tarte Con Pro Sealer? Concealer? Something like that. Um, that's very, very light coverage. This you're getting a little bit more coverage. I really like it under my eyes. I find it doesn't settle. Um, what I was using before this is this elf one that I'm trying to finish up, I, uh, which is supposed to be hydrating. I don't find this very hydrating. I find this actually quite nice and hydrating under my eyes, even when I set it. Like, it sets, but I just love how this looks. I love how kind of creamy it is. It's just a very nice concealer. It's worth the hype. <laughs> okay, so base. Hold on. We got eyes. I guess I'll do a primer. See, when I was doing this, I'm like, does this really count? Um, but I want to use an eyeshadow primer. So I picked the Wet n Wild Photo Focus one. I have the Urban Decay one. But I think I do like this one more. It's more drying. So if you don't have oily lids like I do, I have very oily lids. Um, you may not like this. I do. 
I don't think I've ever found a primer, even this, the Urban Decay Primer Potion, I can't find it at the moment. Um, sometimes, there's just like, it has its off days where it's like, oh, this, like, the um, shadow skips. I can usually make it work, but I've never found like the perfect, perfect um, uh, primer for that. But this is like the closest, and I think it's cheaper. It's like seven bucks, maybe less. It's probably five. The Urban Decay is like 20. I got it on sale. And I still thought it was too much. But yes, this is my preferred eye. I need an eye primer. I can't go out without an eye primer. Or no, I like I if I don't wear makeup, of course I can. But I'm not someone who can just do concealer on the lids and call it a day. No, I need a primer. Next up. What should I do now? Should I do powder? Okay. Powder. I'm gonna do the bite. Um, what is this called? Change maker powder. I have the shade L2. Um, I didn't think I liked this until I started like kind of experimenting with other powders. The other ones I have is the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter and then this number seven one. And I just find for under my eyes is where I kind of really want to, if I'm going to powder anything, it's going to be under my eyes. And I find that this just does the best out of all of these. Um, I think this does fine on the face and this does fine as well, but I just like how this one looks probably the best. So if I had to pick a powder out of my own collection, it would be this. Um, I'm trying to remember. This also comes in quite a few shades, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong on that. So what are we at now? We're at five. Five, 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 five. Oh, I went with the cream blush. And my cream blush is the Rare Beauty blush in Happy. Um, a couple months ago, I realized I really do like um, kind of pink. Not bubblegum. I guess bubblegum pink. But like a pink pink on my cheeks, I think just looks really nice with my skin tone and kind of, I'm able to contour my face kind of with blush because my one kind of issue with bronzer I've found that I don't like the white area that you get kind of here. I know it's supposed to be like that, but I just feel like it looks kind of weird. Um, so blush would be my to go thing. So it would be this cream blush. I love this blush. Um, you only need a little bit. Um, I will say if you are, if you get the minis, which I do have, the minis you need a little bit more product with compared to the big one. I think it's just because of the applicator. Like, this is, like, tiny. And hold on, I wonder if I can... Yeah, that's why. <laughs> uh, I used, like, about the amount I would use with this one, with this one, and I was like, whoa, whoa, you gotta blend a lot. You gotta blend. Um, but I think it lasts pretty much all day, which is, like, my one thing with cream bl blushes, I find. I've been experimenting with like a drugstore one. I find it just doesn't last a lot. This lasts really well and I really like it. What else do we have? What else do we have? Um, see, I'm, I'm conflicted putting this in because I was going to put a bronzer in and I'm kind of in between bronzers right now because spoiler alert, I panned my physician's formula bronzer. So I'm like, I don't, so I've been experimenting with bronzers. I think I only have one that's like an individual. It's like a sample size. The rest are just in um, palettes, and I've been experimenting with those palettes to figure out which bronzer I like the most. At the moment, I was like, well, do I really need a bronzer? I feel like I could live without a bronzer, but I kind of had room in my little top 10, so I was like, well, let me just put this one. This is the Hourglass Ambient, I don't know what this is called. This is like last year's collection. I think you can still pick this up. Um, I kind of am just keeping this because of this bronzer, and then at least I'll have like a highlight, a powder blush, whatever this is. I don't get the hype with this powder. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm using it wrong. I don't find that this powder does a lot. I much prefer my Bite Beauty one over this one. Um, but this has kind of a shimmer in it, the bronzer does, and I, so did the Physician Formula. I kind of like having that shimmer in the bronzer, so that's why this is going to be part of my top 10. Um... Again, I'm still experimenting with bronzer. So this is like a tentative. Like, I guess I'll put it in. Okay, hold on. What are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so for eyes, at the moment. So again, this was at the moment, what I've been really loving. Um, this Rare Beauty, what is this called? I don't I think it's just the Rare Beauty Mascara. I have it in a tiny, a sample size. I think I got it on sale. I really love this mascara. This is really, really good. I love how this looks. I love how, it's not what I have on right now, and I'm kind of regretting that I don't have it on right now, because I just love how this looks. It gives me volume and length, 
And usually I'm just looking for length. I'm like, I'm fine without volume. But this gives me volume and length, and I'm like, whoa. And it doesn't take that much, like I don't have to work with it too much. I can get what I want really fast. Like I just have to, like it's so weird how great this is. <laughs> like the hype, I was seeing people on TikTok, and I'm like, nah, it's not going to be that good. And then I like used it, and I'm like, this is so great. The way I would recommend using this is doing kind of like under your eye and shimmering shimmy shimmy <laughs> you kind of do this type of technique and kind of go up I find that's like when your eyes is almost like closed if that makes sense I don't know if you know what I'm saying anyway <laughs> this is so good this is at the moment my favorite mascara like I would I was like maybe I could get rid of a couple but I'm like this is like this is so good like 10 out of 10 would recommend now what else do we have okay one two three four five six wait one two three four five six Wait, I thought we were on seven. Oh, seven. Okay. I'm not going to include lip products for this video just because I haven't, at the moment, I haven't been wearing that many lip products. I usually just wear a balm that I include with my skincare in the morning, and that's it. Like, I'm done afterwards. Um, so I didn't include a lip gloss or lipstick or anything. Also, because of masks. Even during the day when I'm, like, not even going to go out, I don't wear a lipstick just because... Then I'm gonna, I try to drink as much water as I can. And I find if I have a lip gloss or a lip um, stick on, I don't drink water because I don't want to get this thing all messy and gross. So I didn't, at the moment, I haven't really been doing anything. So that made more room for other things. So one of the things I wanted to include is this Catrice Prime and Front. Prime and Fine. Um, it's this Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I really, really like this. It looks like you can, it says you can prepare for the skin improves makeup wear and refreshes complexion. I don't know if I notice anything about makeup wear, like if it lasts longer, but I do kind of like using it as a finishing spray. Like if I just want everything to kind of meld together, um, this is what I'll use. I can also kind of use it sometimes as a primer if I feel like a foundation needs extra oomph. I usually don't when I'm using this, but I like just to have this just in case it's like, we need to gel this all together. So yes, love this. This is also really cheap. I think it's like five bucks. Um, I have another bottle, like I'm almost out of this. Really recommend this, love it. Then it comes to the final, is this the final? Right, because this is eight, nine and 10. This took me a little while. <laughs> Cause I was like, I, if I am going to be left with two palettes or one palette, well, if I wanted one palette, what would I want? And I think I'd also, I cause th this is the deal. I want cool tones and I want some warm tones. I feel like on me, warm tones do actually look better. Just with my complexion, I tend to have like a yellow undertone. I think that's why. But I still like playing with cool tones. And I kind of like having like a contour situation in my eye. So for that cool tone situation, I thought I would pick my um, Pat McGrath Labs. Uh, Mothership palette. This is a Mothership one in Subliminal, I believe. Um, so, as you all know, I'm the girl with blue eyeshadow. So I'm like, well, there's my blue. I thought about putting a blue, like a full blue palette, but I was like, mm, no. I, as boring as it is, I love a neutral with a blue pop. I, I know it's basic. I know we're not supposed to like it, but I like it. Um, I like that I can do something fairly basic with um, these two shades. Maybe even darken it with the black. You have these kind of really satin shades, and then these blitz shades are so much fun to use. Um, if you pair these two together, I don't know what their names are. These names are, but that it just it mwah. chef's kiss, love it. And then for my warm tone, I tried. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to go with, and I ended up going with the ABH Jackie Hanna palette, an oldie but a goodie. I love her. I really do. Um, I can get like warm tone looks with this. I can get kind of some colorful looks with this with like the pops they have in here. I love Lituation if I'm going really neutral. It's also nice to have Soleil and Zam if you're kind of going for like a glam neutral. I just really love this palette and I feel like if I needed warmer tones, this is where I would go. I will tell you that Nin Hydrin by Jet Cosmetics was up there because these shimmers are unbelievable. This is worth the hype, okay? It's super nice. I love these shimmers. I love these kind of purpley blues. I love this, like, <laughs> the greens, everything. Like, I love the... Oh, it's, just, it's so nice. But 
there's only two mats in here and I was like I need a couple other mats so that's why these are in here instead so that is the video I hope you found this interesting um, again this is like my at the moment type top 10 products are like what I would want to bring with me if I could only bring 10 and I don't know this is fun this is kind of fun to pick sorry about the dog um, so maybe I'll do other videos when I change my mind on products. You never know. I change my mind a lot. Um, but let me know if you have your top 10, what your top 10 products are. Let me know if you want me to do more videos on this. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.